felt a resounding 3-0 victory tonight against Yeovil. Your assessment of the game? Yeah, very pleased. It's never going to be straightforward. Yeovil have got pride to play for, as well as the, the, the hope of, of staying in the division. And um, they've got a good manager and, and, and he's set them up to be difficult. And, uh, you know, we knew we'd have to be patient tonight. And in the end, we just wore them down. And, um, um, and I'm very pleased with the performance. You know, we played against 10 men for 40 minutes at, at the weekend. Uh, but the lads just stuck to the task and, and we knew what we had to do. Um, we couldn't quite achieve it in the first first period. Some of the final passes weren't, weren't quite the standard it normally is, but you felt it was coming. And uh, yeah, I'm just pleased with the way we went about our business, you know, and just uh, stayed calm and um, got the job done. Like you said, that in that first half, we did have chances, couldn't quite make that breakthrough. The second half showed the real quality that we do have in front of the goal. Yeah, listen, you feel it's coming and um, you know, there's, it's so important in those situations not to force the game, and uh, we didn't do that. And uh, yeah, there's some really good individual performances tonight, and uh, it's another step in, in the right direction. Two big games of the season left, but tonight's result mean we broke the National League record points total, which just shows, even with games left, the phenomenal performances the team have put out this season. Yeah, obviously pleased um, with the win tonight and, and the season to date. We've got ourselves in a strong position with two games to go. Um, we've got to be nice and cool, calm and collected and uh, you know, concentrate on performing at our very best in the last two games of the season. In terms of the goal, Anthony Ford returns to the starting lineup and a brilliant goal as well. Yeah, listen, Fordy's performance tonight was exceptional. You know, he hasn't played for a long time. He's had personal problems. Um, you know, when we beat Notts County, I came in the next day and he was working on the pitch with the fitness guys on his own prepared himself in case this opportunity arose and and that's the sign of a, a real true professional and uh, you know that was a special moment when he scored tonight and also to last the 90 minutes and not played for so long um, you know I'm just so pleased for, for Anthony and uh, the lads gave him a round of applause in the dressing room which is a mark of the, the respect he's he's held in, in in there and said it many times about the squad our strength is the squad the togetherness of the group and uh, it showed it again tonight James Jones got the second and a 45th goal of the season for Paul Mullen as well yeah listen please for James another incredibly energetic performance from him um, he, when he comes off he looks like he can play another game um, he's just a, a fantastic athlete but got real quality as well and uh, it was good for him to get the sh score sheet and Moles chipped away all night uh, but he never shies away from getting in the right places and uh, you know, it was another well taken goal from him and at the other end of the pitch yes, another clean sheet for Ben and that back five as well yeah he pulled off a good save towards the end and um, you know, would have been disappointed to concede because um, you know, it was a solid performance you know, I looked at Yeovil at Solihull at the weekend and um, they were 2 0 down, came back 2 2, could have won 4 5 2. They, they were very good in the second half and they came here with nothing to lose. You know, they, they, they really didn't. And you know, you can go back to Dover last year when teams come with that mindset that they can be dangerous. Uh, but in the main, we, we, we saw off their the key players really well. Attention turns to Bournemouth on Saturday and what's set to be another tough test but could be a remarkable day at the racecourse ground. Yeah, what we set ourselves up tonight was about setting ourselves up for the weekend and, and we've done that as part one done of, of, of the week. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, that's it. We know what we've got to do. Four points clear, two games to go. Um, yeah, we've just got to concentrate on how we need to play against Bournemouth and we obviously we know what they're all about. We'll be looking at them again closely the next few days and um, hopefully we can set a game plan up um, and the lads can implement it as well as they've done tonight.